I wonder what Kevin Mitchell will be thinking sat ringside. There's definitely flaws there in the Murray makeup on this performance tonight. <laughs> yeah, he's not difficult to hit, is he? No. Murray tends to block punches as opposed to slip them or use his footwork. He's got that high guard. He catches a lot of them on the gloves. Slightly higher, tighter guard in this round for Murray. He still gets clipped with a left hook. Maybe he could do with a few rounds to, uh, to shed some of this rust, if that's what it is. Better for Murray, I think. A little bit shorter in the shots. Yeah, and a left hook to the body as well from, from Murray. He seems to be finding some kind of rhythm here in the third. Luzgari still having his moments. Good right hand there from Murray. Brought it around the side, digging the left hooks to the body. Now yeah, he's intent on wearing Uzgari down. He keeps keeping up a, a non-stop aggression. Yeah, Uzgari backing against the rope. He's really punching hard to the body, uh, Murray what a fight him and Mitchell would be. Two sets of partisan fans. Be a hard fight to pick. You could sell a few tickets for that one. Yeah, Mitchell at one stage had the longest unbeaten run in British boxing. Now it's uh, Murray. Mitchell with just the only defeat in world class to Michael Katsidis at Upton Park. Believe it or not, that was uh, 11 months ago. Time flies. Good sustained attack here from Murray, cranking up the pressure. Uzgari looks towards his uh, corner. He's just starting to be a little bit overwhelmed by the pressure of Murray. He Push does like back. a tear up, doesn't he? He really does. As you said, Ed, this is the sort of fight the fans love to watch. We've seen a few of them in the York Hall, haven't we, Colin? Yeah, it brings out the beast in them, there's no doubt about that. Well, as you said, Mummy's now beginning to get into a kind of rhythm. And he's punching away with both hands and attacking non-stop, forcing Uzgari on the back foot all the time. And he's beginning, I uh, think, to take control of the fight. Uzgari known as El Diablo, the devil. He's also a great Barcelona foot soccer fan, that's for sure. She was telling us at the press conference uh, he wears the uh, Barn of, uh, Barcelona badge on his tracksuit. Murray, of course, is a Man City fan. Fourth round here, it's been a good little scrap so far. Some people doubted the credentials of Kareem El Uzgari going in. A little bit inexperienced, not really travelled. Nothing on his record to suggest he'd give John Murray, who's pushing towards world class, a tough test. But so far it has been competitive, it has been exciting. Murray has been hit. But thankfully, he's managed to hit Uzgari more times than Uzgari has hit him. I mean, Colin, do you think Murray will have to improve his defence if he's going to step up to world class, especially against those tough Mexicans? Who... Well, Marquez and people like 
like him. Alberto Soto. Marquez Soto, Vasquez, Guerrero. Have, they're in a different league than most of our fighters, so, you know, he, uh, he would have to tighten his defense a little, I think, if he fought those guys. Certainly Marquez. Good body shots again there from, uh, from Murray on the march forward, where he's most comfortable. And it must be said, I've seen better from Murray in the past. Had some success with the left hook to the body there. And he's sorry, dropped his guard a little bit. Obviously felt it. But a little bit over-exuberant, a bit, a bit ragged maybe from John Murray. Maybe over-eager to please. And the Spaniard takes a good shot. He got does that. Great toe-to-toe -to -toe exchanges here. I mean, Murray hit him with a peach of a right. Cross on the chin. Didn't phase him. Oh, and another one. It does make you worry a little bit if that was Kevin Mitchell he was in against. Kevin Mitchell, a very respectable puncher himself. Turns Murray a bit on the ropes, catches him, cannot miss him with that straight right hand in it. Murray is marking up a little bit around the eyes, both eyes. Uh. Well, that was a very close round. And I'm not so sure that Murray won it. I never give even rounds. But uh, I think he just about scraped it, I would have thought, but it was very, very close because Uzgari is fighting back very strongly when he gets hurt particularly. He comes straight back at Murray. And Murray, as we've been saying, is not difficult to hit. And as you've already pointed out, he's beginning to mark up himself around the eyes. In fact, uh, they're working on a, a, a swelling under his left eye as we speak that's it Mick the Rub Williamson London Cabby famously worked with uh, well, Lennox Lewis in one of his World Heavyweight title fights but and Ricky Hatton Ricky Hatton yeah saved Ricky a few times didn't he with cuts he certainly did against Phillips Vince Phillips that night and John Thaxton who of course Murray beat as well about whether Murray is a little bit tight at lightweight he lost his titles one, once before the British title on the scales before he fought Scott Lawton and with the inactivity it's even harder isn't it yep. getting the weight off he's getting caught too much just a world-class fighter shouldn't get hit like that Great offensively, but poor defensively is the judgment so far. Well, the Spaniard has turned out to be quite a handful. But is it the Spaniard being better than we thought, or is Murray not as good tonight as he has been in previous no, I think they're detecting from the Spaniard. I think he's better than we thought he would be. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh on John, but that's the standards he set for himself as a potential world champion. He's certainly a fit lad, who's going. Yeah, he looks in great shape. Maybe those left hooks to the body for Murray will start to tell.
good overhand right for Murray. But you see as Garvey takes those shots without uh, batting an eyelid. He's got a very good chin. I know I've said it before, but Murray just looks so tense in there, doesn't he? He looks, um, just needs to shake off some of those, that anxiety. tends to be the aggressor. Good work from both of them. And Murray seems to be really teeing off here. Murray turns south four. I hope that doesn't mean there's a problem with his hand. He has done that. <laughs> I, wonder how, I wonder how it's going to be.